Welcome to Jay and Laura TV. We are Jay and Laura LaFoon here to answer your questions about marriage and relationships. And we've got a great one today. I think everybody uh, at some point in their marriage hits this little uh, point and, and it, it's a great point for everyone to be reminded of as well. My husband and I have been married for almost a year and a half. And one thing we struggle with is making important decisions together and then moving forward with the plans. My husband stays extremely busy with his family business and he is always leaving me feeling frustrated and that we're stuck in a rut because once we make a decision, we never follow through. Now I think this is something, yes, we all struggle with, but this couple's only been married a year and a half. So they're still in this newlywed stage and I think as newlyweds especially, you have to remember that you had two separate lives and you did your own thing and she did her own thing and then when you came together and you got married, it's time now to not do your own thing, but you gotta do our own thing. So I think that's a part of what's happening here. But for all of us, you know, when you're having trouble in your marriage, at least this was really helpful for us, seek out a mentor couple. Seek out a couple who's been married a little bit longer than you or a lot longer than you. And yes, it's something that you have to take the you initiative to, initiate. to do, but a mentor couple will really help you through some of these bumps in the road. Or look for a small group or a life group in your church if you attend church. Look for a group that's specifically married couples where you can can learn to work through some of these communication issues. One of the things that we did 20 years ago when we started getting into marriage ministry was we got into a small group. We we initiated it. We said, hey, friends, will you be in a small group with us to Has help it been us? 20 it's years? been 20 oh, years, dear, where we can keep us accountable as a couple. And then we went to one couple specifically and said, will you keep us accountable? And boy, it has been the best thing that we ever did, not only for our marriage, but for the ministry and for uh, our and kids. Don't, for, and for don't for be everything. afraid of that mentor couple. Right? We have fun. It's not like we sit down and we go, here are the issues that we're having this no, week. No. no, we sit down on the back porch. We have a good time. We talk, We just talk about life and share life. And as you do that, you learn from each other. And so here, here's your first step, okay? You need to sit down with your husband you need to make sure he's looking at you. No TV, no <laughs> device. And you say, honey, I, I want to start on one decision that we're going to follow through on. Say, for example, you want to have family dinner uh, as, a regular, as a regular item in your household. So then we're going to do this. And now, honey, for 21 days in a row, uninterrupted, we are going to have family dinner no matter what, even if it's pulling cold pizza out of the out of the refrigerator <laughs> we're going to sit down sit together down and <laughs> whatever it is start small don't try and change everything at once we can't change everything at once but you start small and change one thing at a time and before you know it you've changed many habits in your marriage and you're growing and and, and becoming the couple that you wanted to be well we are jay and laura lafoon we are here to answer your questions on marriage and relationships so send them in facebook email however let us know we'll answer them right here on tv I almost did it that time. In the future, I don't think it's really like I think it runs in the wall too much. Back there? Okay. Yeah.